Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoid and welcome to my unboxing of my latest lens purchase. This is the Canon EFS 60mm f2.8 macro USM lens. I'm going to be using this for some of my videos on the Geekanoid channel. This particular one I got from Park Cameras. Check out the link underneath this video. Park Cameras always go that one extra step to ensure that everything gets to you on time and very well packaged as well. Great pricing and let's have a look inside here. So this is a macro lens, uh, one to one, closest focusing distance is about 20 centimeters, which should be very useful for video work. We've got an instruction manual here as well, and then we've got some warranty documentation down the side. And this is the lens itself. Let's have a look at this macro lens. Now this is going to go on to either my Canon 5D Mark III, uh, which actually won't work very well because it's an EFS lens, that's so really for crop sensored cameras. So I'll probably end up using it on the 650D, which I'm also unboxing and testing for the Geek and Noise channel. So let's have a look here. Wow, this feels very well made actually, and, and quite a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy, I think it's about 220, 250 grams if memory serves me right. So let's have a look around the lens. We've got uh, AF, MF switch, so auto focus, manual focus. We've got some uh, focusing distance information in here. And then we've got EFS 60 millimeter ultrasonic motor. And it's uh, got a 52 millimeter thread on the front if you wanna put a filter on here. And just feels really, really nice. This is very, very smooth as well, this focusing ring. It actually feels as good as an L lens almost. Very, very well made. The mount on here is metal, which is a good thing to see. I'm just gonna pull into shot my 50 millimeter. This is a 50 millimeter F1.4, just to give you a size comparison. And it's almost identical in size. It's a little tiny bit bigger than my 50 millimeter F1.4. So as I say, this is gonna be used with my EOS 650D, which I'm also unboxing and testing on the channel. And then it's gonna be used for some of the close-up shots in the Geekanoids video. So please do give this video a thumbs up. As I say, do check out the links underneath this video. You can pick this lens up from parkcameras.com. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one.